and welcome to another fishing towel films and today I've come down for a morning session on one of my local club waters. To be honest this is only the second time that I've fished this particular lake, it's just a small lake, I normally fish the big pet over the other side. In the background you might hear that drone, that's the, the motorway, it's, it's rush hour, it's a Thursday, so I've got the day off work and I've come down to see if I can catch some perch. Yeah, a good friend of mine, Mick Cove, fishes this quite a lot and he's had some, some perch, sort of many round the pound mark and the odd one up to two pounds, but he's seen bigger chasing lures. I'm going to be fishing with prawns and lobworms, my usual tactics, throwing in a few maggots over the top, and fishing with just, just the one rod. I'm not going to make it too complicated and see how I'll get on. Now, if there's two pound perch in here, there's a good chance there could be threes or even bigger than that. You don't know, do you? You just don't know. So it's a bit of an unknown today. It's a bit of a testing session. If it goes well, there's no doubt I'll be back for another session. But let's see how today goes. I've got some reeds to my right, which would be a good ambush area for perch. And I've got a few little sort of snags to the left of the swim so I'll be feeding two areas and uh, see how it goes. Now before I start fishing I like to kick off the swim by cupping out some bait and some scent and in here I've got some prawns, I've got some lobworms, I've got some dendrobeaners, some dead maggots, a few live maggots, some worm cast and I've also put in some liquid the Aramix Earthworm by Census and also some munch baits raw krill because I know perch and love the old raw krill and then with my big anaconda worm shears I like to call them I then give that a chop it I chop it right up into almost like a liquid soup and then through a pole cut always bring a pole cup section, top top four kit and then I'll introduce it out into the areas I'm going to fish and then I'll fish, fish over the top so all I've got to do now is give this a good chop up and I'm ready to go so I'm going to introduce now my first pot of feed the liquid that I've just just scissored up into a bit of a mush and let's feed this one, feed the areas that I'm going to be fishing today, the two areas to the left and to the right of the swim. And then let's feed, gonna feed there the area to my right. And then after initially feeding I'm going to then sort of start topping up the swim with just flicking out a few maggots over the top to see if that first attract the silvers into the peg and hopefully the perch won't be too far behind them. That's the plan. With the tackle that I'll be using today during my perch session it's really simple to be honest. I've got 11 foot Darrant Valley rod which I'll bolt specifically for me perch fishing. A pair of these, they're one and a quarter Tesco. A lovely soft tip on them. But it's got that power just in case I hook into a road car. My trusty Shimano Stradic reel spooled with six pounds line. Uh, sorry four pounds line. And then I'm using float wise 
the old loafer. This is a two grams, that's two and a half, triple A. And some bulk shot, halfway down. Size eight hook. And uh, I'll have on there either a lobworm or a prawn. I'm going to start off with a lobworm first to see how that goes. Maybe even tip it with a red maggot. Let's get fishing. fishing for about an hour now, no indications as yet, there's been a few fish topping sort of further out in the middle of the lake, whether that's small roach, we're not sure, but it's sort of trying to poke its head out over the trees, I mean the forecast was for a, a cl over cloud, overcast today, so we'll, so we'll soon find out if that develops, it's just lovely to be on the, on the bank side to be honest. And um, like I say, it's a bit of an unknown fishing this lake. I, I know you might think I said he's had some nice perch out of here. And uh, well, he showed me the pictures of them, so I know that they're definitely in here. It's just a case of how many they are. And um, if they're willing to feed today, I don't see why not. It's nice and cold. There's carp in here, there's tench in here, there's bream in here, there's roach. <coughs> so it's quite a mixed mixed sort of fish with mixed lake and uh, it's just a case of just plugging away in the hope that a stripe here come along and I can show you one to the camera <coughs> but like I say unless you come out and give these waters a try then you never know do you and, uh, could be pleasantly surprised and there's nothing better than being pleasantly surprised I've just decided to try the rest of the left hand swim which didn't produce any bites and the right hand swim that I've been feeding just cast up to it I'm going to give that a try and I think, I think I had a little indication and if it was a fish then it's my first first indication that something's down there so it's a bit promising I'm hoping that it was a uh, Perch, but also if it's, if it's there still, or if there's a few more to then I'm sure that lobworm will be irresistible to it. But my hopes are slightly raising. A 
to a new perch. Well, as you can see, I'm fishing to the right hand side of my swim now, where I've been feeding up next to those reeds, and they do look perchy, I must admit. I did have a, an indication on my first cast, this is my second cast now, so I'm hoping that there is some signs of fish down there, and hopefully they're perch. Just got to keep feeding, just keep plugging away. Let's see what happens. Well, I've been fishing for just over two hours now, maybe two, two and a half. And apart from a couple of little tiny blips on the float, um, I've had not had a bite in anger as yet. Now, I know it's easy to start making excuses. It's a water that I've only fished, well, it's only the second time I've fished it. First time I've fished it for the perch. And then you start asking questions to yourself. What is the head of perch in here? Is there many of them? I know there's some pike in here. Are the pike the dominant species? I don't know. It's a bit bright. The water's quite clear. See all these excuses I'm making? <laughs> but you have to ask yourself. But also at the same time, you can't just judge this lake's potential on just a short session, a short moulding session. I think you're going to have to give it maybe two or three trips in the winter time. I mean, we're, it's the 1st of February today, so we're right in the winter. Um, it's actually turned a bit mild. It's probably about, I think it's about six degrees when I left. So it's not too, not too warm, but quite a nice. Comfort. I mean, I've not even needed to put my jacket on. I'm quite warm with the uh, bit of brace on and the, the fleece and the woolly hat. So um, it's just a case of plugging away. I'm going to carry on for another two or three hours at least. I've had a little walk around the lake and. The sun which is behind that tree which is kind of shaded this area compared to the other the other swims because I was thinking maybe maybe moving but the sun is like sort of beating down on them and really lighting up. I took me rod and I had a little flick about and I could see me worm travel a long long way down, probably at least two or three foot down. That's how clear it is. So I'm just gonna stick stick to this swim in the corner by the reeds. Maybe a, a lonesome, hungry perch may come along and uh, intercept my boat. I'm not disappointed. Obviously, I wanna, was hoping to get some proper bites, but that may still come yet. Yeah? Like I say, it's early days, and uh, I can't judge today the potential of this lake perch wise on just today's session. And that's it really, that's the sort of the way it's gone so far. Like I say, I'm not giving up, I'm still feeding, flicking out some red maggot, potting out some of the mix that I mixed up the first thing that I was showing to the camera and um, just carrying on trying. You know, the, it's lovely to be out, I must admit. I could have been working today, but I had the day off and, uh, to come here to give it a go midweek. There's no one else here at all. I've got the whole lake to myself. I don't think there's anyone on the on the big pit. Not at the moment, anyway. So um, there you go. That's the the way it is so far. Just got to keep plugging away. I was going through some of my old filming files that I've got on my computer, and uh, I found some footage of some perch sessions that I've never used, never used before, they're unseen. So, being as this session may be perch less, I thought I'd show a few clips of some, you know, not massive perch, but perch over the two pounds mark that I caught on a few, a few seasons back, uh, on a few waters that I used to fish. I was actually filming a, a series called The Quest, which is still on the back burner, and um, here's some footage of some perch that I caught probably, what, three, four, five years ago now.
think this could be a perch. Please be a perch. Yeah, it is. It is. Well, the rain has passed for the moment anyway, so I weighed the fish, two pound, three ounces, so well chuffed with that, on a big prawn, fish close in to the margins. Let's have a good look at him, he's got a few little marks on him, he's been around a bit, been in the wars, but if you can see that properly, a nice two pounds, three ounce, Friendfield perch. Got a stunning fish. So prehistoric looking, aren't they? Just wonderful fish. Big old mouths on them so that they can gobble up the great big baits. Well, let's pop him back. Hopefully we'll catch him again when he's even bigger. Fantastic. Well, there we go. Just switched over to from a raw prawn to a, a cooked prawn, and this produced this magnificent fish of one pound fifteen. Not quite a two, but it's a start, and the quest has now truly begun. What a superb fish! Let's pop this one back. Well, it's been tough going, and uh, been persevering away. And I just fed up over me float and it uh, dis disappeared straight away and I'm pleased to say I've got a fantastic perch here and this scale, what was a bit lively here, scales got a wonderful two pounds two ounces and uh, you see he's got a nice little hump back on it absolutely incredible and to think that the British record is four pounds bigger than this. Well, if we could get anywhere near, anywhere near that, it'd be absolutely over the moon. But I'm well chuffed with this. It's early days for fishing for the perch, and what a brilliant day! Franfield is always good for a, a good two pound pluser, and uh, it's come up trumps. Brilliant. Well sadly my short perch session this morning is going to come to an end. Um, there's a, a little stream that flows into the lake and uh, those little dips I'm getting I think are sticklebacks because they do, they do you can see, in the summer months you can see them swimming about so I reckon they're just nipping, nipping on the worm, nipping on the, the red maggot giving me them little dips. Um, because I keep getting little dips. If there was a perch there, by there, it would have, would have took it. I'll probably give it 10 more minutes, but um, although I've not caught any perch today, at least I've managed to show some perch catches for some, from some past sessions. And uh, thanks for watching. I shall be back out again soon, making more videos. And hopefully next time, I'll have a bit more better fortune. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please give it a like. Please subscribe to the channel and I'll see you again very soon here on Fishing Tail Fields. <laughs>